Well, let's see, it's October 26th and it's about 55 or 60 degrees out. I'm gonna put on my, uh, I'm gonna put on my street and steel hoodie and put the leather over that. I'm hoping that'll be warm enough. Um, temperature's not too bad when you're out of the wind, but the wind is pretty crazy today. Today I'm gonna to try to find uh, a road my old friend Eric lived on, Axe Factory Road in Ashford, Connecticut. I think it's a dirt road, um, but I don't really remember. don't remember how, how long it was or whether it was even paved. So we'll head out to Ashford and we'll see if we can find that road and maybe find some other dirt along the way. So my first impression coming out today is, even though it's 60 degrees, it is a very blustery, gusty day. You can see that flag blowing there. Trees are blowing around. And I'm comfortable, I'm warm. Um, the jacket definitely makes a huge difference. The gloves I've got are, they're not winter gloves. I don't think they're as heavy duty as my other gloves that I'm wearing before are pretty good. Uh, knees and thighs. I think if it were 50 degrees I'd probably be having to wear some hot chilies or some kind of long underwear under these jeans. It's comfortable but here's the thing. You know, I'm coming down here doing 50, 60 miles an hour. When a gust of wind comes and hits you in the chest it can make you kind of lean side to side a little bit. But that kind of makes it a little more adventurous, I guess. You're not really sure. <laughs> You're going to lose control. And certainly when a truck comes by going the other way, it definitely uh, a bit. So I'm on 74 in Ashford towards 44. I'm going to try this road here. This is called Crap Road. Is it really Crap Road? I guess it is. I'm going to try to wind my way to Westford, which is a very small village, I guess, contained part of Ashford. And then, uh, let's see if we can find the dirt roads out there. I think I've got Axe Factory Road in the maps right now does uh, kind of cut through some, some forest, some state forest there. I'm not sure if it's Natchog or maybe Yale Forest. Again. Now Maps is going to want me to take a right on Perry Hill and that's going to take me to 9, but I know I'm not going to find any dirt roads out that way. When you're talking about this jacket and how warm it is, I'm using the sweatshirt that goes underneath it. When I first got it, I thought, wow, well, these sleeves are long, but they stick out and that's the sweatshirt. Looking at the map, this, this is part of the map by State Forest. It's very brutal. And this is this. It's very brutal. It's very brutal. Because it, it, it is taking up the best. I do do with this like this.
to go hunting, that's cool. We're on Lips Road. I, hmm. I don't recall this. program. Definitely going to check the maps when I'm done with this route and see if that's actually private property. See who owns it. I mean, if that were my road and I were named Pease, I would probably put up a sign that says no trespassing. Right. Down we go. Where's the lid? Keep the wind out. Well, coming back from Lips Road, check out this old cemetery. Established in 1765. Wow. road down there. Check that out for a minute. I think I've been on that road. Dude, what is this road? Road. I don't know. 
It looks a little familiar, but I don't know if I've been on it before. cabin, huh? Oh, huh, yeah. My visor for this. Harry too. All right. Coming up on some river here. It looks like it's going to get paved again. Right. I have been here. Turn out here. I never marked it. There. Because. Probably a hundred places that look like that that I've been on before. All right, back to 89. Not the way I wanted to get to it, but it'll work. That was actually pretty cool. Oaks Road, Mitmunk Trail. Here we come into the little town of Westford. The little intersection always intrigued me. I mean, it's just the village time forgot. Look at that. Colonial church. That went left, that went to uh, Turnpike or something. Axe Factory Road should be on the left here somewhere. I think that's what I put into maps for a destination, but I can't remember. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Road goes to the right. We're going to go left. Another dirt road. This. Come on, maps. Tell me the name of the road. 